All right, as you're thinking about your homework for class tomorrow, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about uh, representations of structure, uh, doing perspective drawings, and drawing Newman projections. We talked a little bit about this at the end of class, but I think it will help uh, as you try and work on especially problem number three and the stuff we're going to work on in the future. Uh, so what I want to talk about today uh, are doing these perspective drawings, Newman projections. The Newman projection bit is on pages 155 to 163. Uh, in your text. So what we're going to do is, is draw different conformations. All right, so that's our goal. All right, we want to draw different conformations. All right, and when you're thinking about conformations, I want you to think about that there are different orientations of the molecule based on bond rotations. All right, so different molecular orientations based on bond rotation. All right, and so we're going to focus um, on butane, right? So we're going to look at butane, and again, as we said in class, it's C4H10, and it's CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. So uh, make sure you have a molecule of butane made out, right? So your molecular model of butane. We're going to need that as we try to look at a couple of different conformations of butane, right? So we're going to look at, at two, um, and then we'll see what the Newman projections look like. We're going to do the perspective drawings first. So we're going to look at two. We're going to look at eclipsed, right? And there are three different eclipsed conformations. We're just going to look at one, right? And eclipsed are when the bonding electrons are as close as possible to one another, right? When electrons in bonds are as close as possible to each other, right? And then we're also going to look at a staggered conformation, right? That's when the electrons in the bonds are as far apart as possible. Right, and we saw this when we were looking at um, the molecular model in class, right, where we said when you have something that looks like this, right, you have, that's a staggered conformation, right, you can see the bonding electrons are 60 degrees from each other when you look straight down that bond, right, and then when you rotate to something like that, where the bonding electrons sort of overlap each other, that's called eclipsed. So what we're going to do is draw the least stable eclipsed, where the two methyl groups are overlapping each other, and we're going to draw the most stable staggered, where the two methyl groups are as far apart as possible. Those are the conformations that we're going to draw. All right, so let's do the perspective drawing first, right, and let's start with the eclipsed, right, so these are going to be perspective drawings. So if we look at the eclipsed conformation, and again, you can just take your model and look at it edge on, right? So the way that we're going to be drawing this is just look at your model like that, edge on, right? And that's what we're going to draw, right? So if we imagine the plane of the paper cutting through all the carbons, right? We've drawn all the carbons right here. You can add the CH3s just so that it's clear that those are at the end of each chain. And then if you look at your molecule, you'll see that on each of the two central atoms, there's going to be one H coming out at you, out at you, and another one going away. All right, and again, this is eclipsed. All right, and again, remember the eclipsed is going to be the least stable. All right, and again, just a reminder: when you put the wedge bond, this is coming out, coming out. And when you put the dash, that is going back, all right? So the dash is going away from you, the wedge is coming out at you, all right? So that's the eclipsed, which is going to be the least stable, all right? And then if we look at a staggered conformation, we're going to have the 
methyl's opposite. And again, if you take your model and you rotate 180 degrees, right, that's what we're trying to draw. Okay, again, all the carbons are going to be in the plane of the board or the plane of your paper. Uh, it's just that now one methyl is up to the left, the other one's down to the right, and you still have one H coming out at you, one going back, one H coming out at you, one going back, and again, this is going to be staggered. Right, and this is going to be the most stable. All right, so those are perspective drawings, right? And we're going to use perspective drawings a lot. We also need to know how to use things called Newman projections. All right, so separate that out. All right, and the key with Newman projections is that now instead of looking at the side of the molecule, we're going to actually sight down one of the bonds in the molecule. All right, so we're going to take and you know take that staggered molecule and just turn it so that we're looking down the central carbon-carbon bond. All right, that's the key when we're doing Newman projections. All right, so our notes for Newman projections. We're going to sight down the central carbon-carbon bond, okay? Um, and it's probably a good idea to get into practicing doing this, and the way to practice doing that is, is literally to imagine rotating your head into the plane of the board slash paper and seeing what you see, All right? So imagine um, putting your eye in the plane of the paper and draw what you see. So when you're doing these, what you want to imagine doing is taking your eye and putting it right there so that you're looking right down that carbon-carbon bond. Right? Or in this one, put your eye right there and sight down the carbon-carbon bond. All right, so again, I'll just try to box this in red so you can see that's going to be your eye when you're looking to do a Newman projection of those two uh, conformations. All right? And there's a couple of conventions we have to do for Newman projections. So the carbon in front, all right, the convention for that is that we do not draw uh, that atom. All right, carbon in front, you don't draw the atom, you only draw bonds to that atom. All right, so the carbon in front is going to look like that or like that. Okay, it's just going to be three lines coming together for the three bonds uh, that are coming out at you uh, when you look at it down that central carbon-carbon bond, All right? And then the carbon in back, All right? You draw the atom as a circle and bonds come off as short lines, All right? So the carbon in the back going to be a circle, and then you're going to have bonds coming off like that, or like that, depending on the orientation, right? And when you draw a Newman projection, you put those two things together, right? And that's what we're going to do right now. So what I want you to do, I'm going to erase, but try drawing what it looks like looking down in that orientation and that orientation for the eclipsed and the staggered, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, after I erase the board. So we're going to look at these Newman projections right now. So let's see what happens when we look down that bond of the eclipsed. 
And again, what you're going to be looking at is take your models and look at them just like that and then draw what you see. All right. So if you do that, so now we're going to do the Newman projections for these. You can draw the atom in the back. And now if we look at the atom in the front where the bonds are, we have one bond sticking straight up. Right, that goes to a methyl group. We have a bond going down to the right and down to the left. Can I give you this? I'm sorry. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. Can you just... Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, just drop it there. It's fine. Sorry. All right. Um, so we have bonds going to the right and to the left for the H's and if we look at what's happening with the other carbon that carbon's right behind uh, the bond that you have going up right so again they're overlapping they're eclipsing each other so you draw as close to that one as you can All right so it looks something like that Right, and that's what it would look like. Again, you can't get them directly on top of each other when you're drawing the Newman projection, just because it's too difficult when you draw it. Right, but this would be our Newman projection of the eclipsed conformation. All right. Now let's draw what the staggered conformation is going to look like. All right. So for the staggered, again, start by drawing the sphere for the back atom. And again, the front atom now looks exactly the same. We haven't done anything to that bond. All right, so we'll just draw that in. Okay, and now what we're going to do, so the front atom looks the same. We've just rotated the back atom 180 degrees, and we're going to draw what it looks like now. And that carbon-carbon bond is pointing straight down. All right, so now we have that pointing straight down. And the H is off to the side. All right, so this is going to be our staggered conformation. And this has a special name since the CH3s are completely opposite each other. This is called the anti-conformation. Right? Um, and what I want you to think about, and this is what you'll see when you uh, look in the book, uh, is what happens when you rotate through all of the different conformations. Uh, you know, let's say that you start at Eclipsed and you look at rotating through. You can see we've got a staggered conformation, an Eclipsed, another staggered, another eclipsed, another staggered, and then finally back to the eclipse that we started with. What do the energies look like uh, when you do that rotation? Right? And that's something that you'll see uh, if you take a look at the book, Klein goes through what all those energies look like. Right? And I want to practice one more problem uh, just to see how we use this, um, and, and then we'll pick it up again in lecture. Right? So one more thing that you can think about using this is how we would use this um, for other molecules. And so one thing that we'll do later in the semester is a reaction, right? So here's a reaction that we'll do. We'll take bromine and add it to an alkene. And if you do that, uh, you just add Br2 to the alkene. And you add them in that fashion where one's going to be coming out, one's going to be going back, right? And so the question is, what does this look like if you draw a Newman projection down that central carbon-carbon bond, all right? So take a minute and see what you can come up with for that carbon-carbon bond uh, in the Newman projection, all right? If I draw it out, if I imagine my eye in the plane of the board, I'm going to have a CH3 group going down, all right? And if I think about that bromine, it's coming out at me, but when my eye rotates, it's going off to the right, all right? And I don't have it drawn in there, but what is understood is that we have an H going off to the left. And then we have a methyl group in the back that's going straight up. Right? So that'll be right there. The bromine in the back is behind the board. And when my eye is here, it's to the left. And then the H is going to be out to the right. Okay? And that's what we're going to need to be able to do, is to go from this perspective drawing to the Newman projection. Right? And so the final thing I'll leave you with is if you run this reaction on the other isomer of 
an alkene. So this is called a trans isomer, this is a cis isomer. You would get that product, right? What I'd like you to do is draw the Newman projection of this and then convince yourself, based on looking at the Newman projections, that these two things are different molecules. They're isomers of each other, but different molecules. All right, so practice that, and we'll pick this up again in class tomorrow.